name is Charlene and I'm here to talk about my band book which is Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Um, the story is about a boy named Huckleberry Finn and he ran away from his home because his father was an alcoholic. Uh, in the journey he encountered with a slave named Jim and they both made a journey to go to Mississippi River and it's about their journey together. Now this book was banned for using the word nigger. Um, right here I'm gonna read a moment. It says it was banned for using the word nigger on the mouth of white and black characters and the discontent began in 1957. Um, in 1969 the school Miami Dade Junior College excised the literary text from its required reading list after Negro students complained it embarrassed them. Now, this book was banned from junior high schools and uh, it could be used for high school, but it was banned also from elementary schools because of the same thing. I need to read a letter of something that someone said. His name is Alan B. Ballard. And he recalls his reaction to having Huckleberry Finn read aloud in his school. It was junior high school, it was about 30 years ago. He says, I can still recall the anger I felt as my white classmates read aloud the word nigger. In fact, as I write this letter, I am getting angry all over again. I wanted to sink into my seat. Some of the whites snickered. Others giggled. I can recall nothing of the literary merits of this work that you term the greatest book of all American novels. I only recall the sense of relief I felt when I would flip ahead a few pages and see the word nigger will not be read that hour. Uh, would I use this? Would I use this as a t-shirt? I would. I mean, I read it and it's a great book. Uh, the only thing is that it uses the word nigger and I believe it's the tone that you put to it because I don't think Mark Twain um, wrote it this way and with a dialect as of, of an African as the African people for for it to be demeaning. I think that he did it to show about the American culture and what they were living in that time. So read it.